What's up, animals? What's going on, man? How you guys doing? The Halloween creepy videos continue up until Halloween. I'm going to try to do one every night. Um, Like I said, I'm going to try to do one. Anyway, right now we have five creepiest and most chilling videos caught in real life. Real life. 15 million views, uploaded by Dorset Ghost Mysteries. Check it out. We got a whole bunch of videos that he's uploaded, I believe. Anyway, guys, we're going to check this video out and see what it's all about from November 16, November 2016, but the videos are probably older than that. So, you know, Halloween, man, what are you going to do? It's a time to do something creepy and scary and weird. So if you guys are scared, um... So am I. <laughs> Don't feel bad. You already know. Without further ado, like I always say, and say it with me. Run that shit. Happy Halloween. No. <laughs> Imagine what it would be like being watched by someone that is capable of murdering you or filming yeah. your very last moments. Scully, come on, These Scully. are five creepy and chilling events caught on video. Let's begin. Let's begin. Number one. Oh, Lord. On 16th of April, 2014, the 6,825-ton MV Sewell capsized while carrying 476 people. Damn. Most of them were school kids. Damn. The chilling footage that you're seeing was filmed by senior school kids that were inside the MV Sewell at the time it capsized. The terrified young teenagers were told to stay where they were inside their cabins by crew members. At first, the school kids were nervously laughing and joking, believing the likes of the captain, teachers and crew members would help them. Wow. What they didn't know was that when the ferry began to sink, the captain and his crew members evacuated the MV Sewell and left the kids to basically die. Wow. He didn't even change his order for everyone to evacuate. Oh, These man. terrifying scenes were captured as the school kids were in tears talking about their loved ones. How terrifying it must have been when they were so young in a sinking ship with no adult supervisors or loved ones to help you. Over 300 passengers died. The captain was later sentenced to 36 me? years in jail. Wow. He was charged with murder. 36 the owner of the MV Sewell, who was wanted by the police for questioning, was later found dead. Of course. Number two. You, you're responsible for three, bro, this, you're responsible for 300 deaths and you get 36 years in prison. 300 deaths? All those kids are gonna, all those kids are gonna haunt you, bro. 300 kids! Sunk it in that ship. Creepy video was taken by Stephen McDaniel on the night he killed his classmate and next door neighbor Lauren Giddens. He spied on her for a couple of months before he then broke into her apartment wearing a black mask and gloves. Why? Lauren Giddens then fought with the masked man to get away. This is when she realized that she knew who the man was mm. as she managed to pull off the mask and found out it was Stephen McDaniel. Stephen then strangled her to death. He then chillingly went back to his room and went on the computer. A few hours later he returned to the scene where he then cut Lauren up using a chainsaw. He then dumped her body in a trash dumpster outside the oh apartment complex God. they both lived in. The cops two days later found Lauren Giddens torso in a trash can. Stephen McDaniel later pleaded guilty to murdering Lauren. Number 3 Imagine wow. living in total fear of being watched. Well, for John Lang, this was his reality. This is the creepy moment where he caught men in a van filming his house with what looks like to be a thermo-sensitive camera. What I find quite disturbing about this is not only must it have been quite intimidating to see men filming your house, but the equipment they're using is quite sophisticated expensive. and expensive, meaning yeah. he could be dealing with professionals. When they saw that John was also filming them, they panicked and you could see them shutting the door. Why would anyone want to film John Lang though? Well, John was an activist against police corruption and some of his allegations were very serious. So it was no surprise that he was disliked by the police force. So scared that his life was in danger, he posted on his Facebook warning the public that the cops are trying to kill him. Ten days later, John's house was on fire. Inside, John was found dead. He was stabbed Damn. and then burned. Someone Damn. had murdered John Lang. But no one has been charged for the murder. The cops Number four. 
was Harrison good. O'Kane was one of the 12 crew members of a small tugboat when it capsized. For three days, O'Kane suffered in a small pocket of air inside the overtone tugboat. Wow. This is a chilling <laughs> video that was captured by a rescue team. Oh, At first, you could see this ghostly rough. hand coming towards you. What? To be honest, when I first saw the footage, I thought it looked like something that you would oh, see from shit. a horror movie. Help me, help me. You then could hear the utter shock as the divers realised that one of the crew members was actually alive. At the time, the diver thought that the hand was of a corpse touching him. For three days, O'Kane, the only survivor, was living a nightmare where he could hear his other crew members wow, being imagine. eaten by fish. Oh shit, He lived really? in complete darkness with no food and all he drank was one can of coke. In his native country, Nigeria, some believe that it was such a miracle that he survived, that they asked him if he used black magic to survive. He still has nightmares where he sometimes wakes up, telling his wife that the bed is sinking. One thing is for certain, he said, I will never go back to the sea again. I wouldn't either. Number 5. I'm gonna bite my nails over here. On August 10th, <laughs> 1984, pilot James Cadell was flying a Cessna when he crashed the plane into the forest. Both James and his friend, Ronald Wilmond, died in the crash. Three days later, backpackers found the plane wreck, where they also found a VHS tape of the crash. What you're looking at now is the footage, showing what happened during their last moments. Going down, bro. Just before the crash, you can hear James shouting Make over right. to Ronald. Damn, hang on, Ronnie. The footage then chillingly cuts out. What video would you like to see us make next? What story did you find was the creepiest? If you enjoy watching creepy and mysterious the, the videos... The first one, bro! <laughs> The first one. Shit, thanks. Short and sweet. Yesterday was way too long yesterday. <laughs> we gotta do these videos short and sweet, bro. Jeez. The which is the creepiest one, I guess. You know, stalking on your neighbor, bro. Oh, sorry. Stalking on your neighbor. What? You like this Batman shirt? I like this Batman shirt. <laughs> stalking on your neighbor and then killing them. That's pretty creepy, bro. I mean, I don't understand people why they do that. I wouldn't have, I mean, why would you want to, I mean, you, okay, you have a hot neighbor. She's cute, she's pretty, but why kill her? Why stalk her? If she's not into you, she's not into you, bro. And you kill her and then you chop her up? Imagine chopping a body up, bro. Blood is everywhere, bro. Boom! Blood gushing. Cutting your head off? Cutting your head off? Do you know what that is? All that blood? The guts? There's a lot of crap in here. I'm not saying I'm fat or all, but... Let's say a lot. Bro, guts? The blood? Squirting everywhere? Could you, all the, all the, oh my god, bro, I don't know how I could do it. I don't know how this guy did it back in his movies, man. I mean, in the real, those mafia people, they just cut the people up, boom, boom, boom. Those big cleavers are like that long. The blade with the big ass handle, <gasps> boom. We'll go through bone like nothing, like paper. I don't know, man. Anyway, guys, that's Halloween for you. <laughs> Crazy stuff, bro. I uh, try to do less creepy, scary stuff. Because I know I could tell by the other views on the other videos that I did yesterday for the longer one. People are just scared to watch it. I mean, I'm not. Oh, this one is not that scary. So this is stories. But the other ones with the scare, jump scares and the noises. And it's saying it can be a little scary for some people. Some people love it. I don't know, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment below what you guys think about these type of videos. If you have a good video that you want me to watch for Halloween, please. Leave a link to the video that you want me to watch for Halloween that you think is good. And please make sure it's good. And it um, doesn't have to have a million thousand views, whatever. It just has to be good and interesting and entertaining for people to watch. I'm out. Follow your dreams, pursue your goals. Please share, sharing, and caring. Leave a like. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video, live stream, whatever else. You already know. Bye. Bye.